Hello. Welcome to you next officer and this is Sushil. So today I am with a novel video which could explain you about how to start ethics for GS4. So first thing first, not just GS4, anything else, first just have a look at syllabus copy, have it ready because we will be discussing about that later part as well but more than anything else if you are actually thinking about ethics ethics can't be studied in silos you study economy maybe or polity in, in polity governance or public administration there you come across many ethical issues which may sound to be immoral or all those concepts can be linked with ethics so just have an idea about how to interlink them even with the environment environment ecology there you can have an idea about how to uh, link them with ethics but primarily primarily you need to have ethics as a systematic study of course uh, first thing comes to mind is about sources what are sources you could refer uh, I would say keep the sources very much limited uh, you can think about a lexicon Lexicon is one such book where you can have grip over the definitions. More than that, while reading Lexicon, you need to think about not just getting the definition in your mind and remember it, but try to create definition of abstract, uh, abstract terms because no matter how many definitions you mug up and go to the examination, you'll find another word surfing out. So you need to learn how to create definition out of the feeling that you generate through various experiences you have in your life, various terms which you express in your own vernacular language. That translation and putting on paper will help you a lot more than what actually lexicon does so lexicon with this exercise will form your own notes which will help you end of the day and if any standard books uh, if you need I suggest uh, Subara book he's one such author uh, whose book I felt was a reasonably good and uh, it, it could be helpful to suit civil services examinations and especially for ethics so I say have only one standard book instead of Subara you can choose another book if any and lexicon it would be great if you restrict your resources only to two books then you can have some topper copies topper copies could be uh, one such source to understand the approach especially for the case studies okay now coming to actual scenario what are topics that form your ethics syllabus let's look at one after the other ethics and human interface ethics morals and all the basic definitions uh, in human context rather than what in public administration forms the first topic those would involve uh, basic definitions of ethics morals and in your private life what you do and how they find conflicts with your public service then comes human values values itself is a core topic 
it it uh, depends more on your belief system your belief system and how they shape your human values then here the core ethics comes in these three terms because they have some cognitive part that cognitive part when comes with the affective part cognitive part is more about rational thought process and that rational thought process when it mixes with emotional part this interaction determines how your attitude aptitude and emotional intelligence would be so these three sounds to be synonymous but diverge at large apart so you need to be careful with attitude aptitude and emotional intelligence now once you have done this you get some idea about how the thought streamline happens now you look at thinkers and philosophers suppose if someone asks about uh, Immanuel Kant uh, about whom many a times you find questions in ethics or in some humanity subjects like uh, political science public administration you find him as a princess many a times so all this kind of thinkers you'll find uh, few thinkers who are of western origin also uh, not just western origin but even the Gandhian quotes from your syllabus this as a whole till this part forms theory which sounds so ideal to speak of course in answers you mention few practical points as examples but still it is more theoretical now comes your decision making part which should be practical that decision making practical part is public or civil services values remember from human values your service demands slight divergence in your values and the kind of ethics the kind of ethical behavior the public administration is demanding then ethical issues in international relationships is a part many a times you tend to ignore you might find a question on uh, a thinker linking with international relationships sometime because you may get question on uh, John Rawls theory of justice and how can that be applied to international relationships you can ask about corporate governance corporate funding this is more relevant and even if you have work experience um, in any private sector or corporate sector this corporate governance would be an easier and more relatable part so it's hardly a couple of hours that you spend on that and your topic is done then probity this probity is a concept on which you can rely on to ensure good marks at least at some subset of ethics and this probability in governance is most repeated part that you find in your examination questions so probability if linked with uh, a Nolan committees or even administrative reforms committee report you get good content and on which many questions will be framed so the philosophical basis of governance and probability also forms it then then uh, you'll find uh, here it got clipped but you find few codes codes of ethics I mean the codified part you might find some uh, karma yogi scheme which government recently bought 
capacity building uh, so that happens that happens because they want to relate to current affairs even in this static paper you find citizen chatter model citizen chatter not a particular one citizen chatter as some of them you may get answer, uh, questions on RTI right to information act then along with them linking with current affairs and the demands for patient chatter can come considering the COVID scenario when you know citizen chatter and why it has been framed the core philosophy behind the citizen chatter if you understand the same patient chatter or health chatter can be asked so these are something you need to go through so in ethics to produce an above average answer the interlinking matters a lot two concepts where uh, i definitely suggest you to have idea about so that you can use them in multiple answers are altruism altruism from slice in situations like uh, CSR funds corporate social responsibility and versus ethical egoism if you bring this aspect believe me this definitely adds value to your answers other than that uh, neutrality classification of neutrality as passive and active neutrality is something if you thoroughly complete it and use it in multiple dimensions according to the question and context of the question it will fetch you marks neutrality and bipartisan or non-partisanship so if you do this these are like value additions that you create sometimes out of blues you find some questions in your paper which might surprise you but if you do that well believe me it's worth your preparation and the time you invested so i suggest you to carefully do your ethics paper which could be a deal breaker as many would be tired by the time they queue the first three papers you can capitalize and take a larger margin in the race before i meet you next time bye till then